our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. <laughs> Yes, sure. Uh, blessings, Father. Uh, just to inform you that Mr. Peter Richards has arrived. God bless you. Tell the young lad in me to see him now. Good to see you here. Feel free. Take a seat. How can I help you? I need to confess my sins. Please, somebody answer me. My father, that art in heaven, I will be thy name. Welcome, Father. Who are you? You know exactly who I am. I don't know who you are. Please. Let me go. I'll give you anything. Pick up that rose of Andrew. You'll probably need it. Father, just to inform you that Mr. Peter Richards is here to see you. Are you feeling well? Yes. Just a... Just, just a crazy dream. No, nothing to worry about. What exactly does he want now? Well, he says he's arranged to meet with you today. He states it's very important. Okay. Hello, Father. Hope you're well. Morning, Peter. God bless you. How can I help you? I need to confess my sins. You already confessed your sins to me yesterday, Peter. Don't you remember? Um, no. We haven't seen each other in months. I told you I was going to come today. I thought we had an arrangement. Yes, that was yesterday, which was Monday. Today is Tuesday. Oh, I've come a long way to see you. You are right now the only person I can trust. Please help me. Sure, Peter. Now tell me, what is it you've done that you need to confess? It's not so much for what I have done. 
<laughs> but what I'm going to do. Well, you know what they say. God's time is always perfect. Just so long as you're faithful. Oh, anything is possible in the name of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Father, I already know the drill. Peter, I've been getting to know you over the past 15 years. You're one of the best blokes I've had the luck to see come through this parish. Always very profound. Peter, tell me what's wrong. I'm afraid, Father. There's nothing God can't forgive. You know that, don't you? Are you really sure about that, Father? Because I remember the first time you told me that five years ago. And then a week later, my first car got stolen. Or perhaps the other time I came to see you. And three days later, my mum died from a heart attack. Or perhaps the most recent one, only a few weeks ago, when a couple of crackheads burned my house down while I was at the church praying. Peter, I know you've had a rough life, but I also know that there's always light at the end of the tunnel. I'm tired of all the bullshit, Father. I'm tired of suffering in this fucking life. Wait, Peter. Look, God moves in mysterious ways. And, and he'll answer your prayers. So, certainly than you expect, I assure you. But what you're doing is a, is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Please. Put the gun down, son. Please. You're right, Father. God does work in mysterious ways. Perhaps in another life, he will pray for us. Where am I? You better answer to me! You really don't know what this place is. You've been praying to my apartment for so long. No, no I can't be. Why me? I've never wished evil on anyone. Why? What did you expect? I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to take me for a fool. But I know all your tricks. And I know you're guilty of causing so much pain and suffering to humanity. The only thing that I am going to do is to make them believe that there is an alternative. A way out. You are the devil.